The first thing you're going to need is an industrial mask, a pair of gloves, a sense, alcohol, a Q-tip, paper towel, a brush, premium gold luster, a banding wheel, a well-ventilated space, and the killing. I'm going to work with a cap which has gold luster over the rim and the handles. Once you select your piece, you're going to clean it with a paper towel damped with alcohol. This will eliminate any residues of oil, hand cream and dust. Then you're going to pick your brush, which is going to be used only for luster application. If the brush is kind of rough, you can use the essence to make it softer. Now we are ready to paint. You are going to dip the brush inside the premium gold luster bottle and remove the extra liquid. The premium gold luster is very forgiving, so you don't have to really worry about applying the luster too thick or too thin. You can always use your hands to support your piece. A great tip is to rest your elbows over the table. This will help with your pulse. So now I continue applying the luster over the handle. And it's looking really nice. Then you're going to continue applying the luster over the rim. You can use the banding wheel to help with the application. The rim of this mug is irregular, so it requires a little bit of more application time. Great. Another tip I can share with you is how you can use alcohol to clean any mistakes. So, for example, if you make a small mistake, you can use a Q-tip damp with alcohol. And for a bigger area, you can use uh, the paper towel. I'm going to also apply luster to this saucer. The process is exactly the same, and in this case, the banding wheel is really helpful. As you can see, I can go over the, the gold. I can retouch it. The premium gold luster allows to do that. With the bright gold, like the regular version, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Now we are ready to load the killing and to share my special tip. When you load the killing, your pieces can touch each other. Why? Because gold luster is fired at cone 018 and the glaze doesn't melt at this temperature. You will still have to use the mask when you load. The smell is going to be very strong. Loading the killing is one of my favorite steps of the process. It reminds me to be patient and careful. Great, we are almost done. Once the killing is ready, you turn it on and set up the program. I usually fire to cone 018. This killing fires hotter, so I program it to cone 019 and hold it for 15 minutes. This fire is going to be ready tomorrow, so now I'm going home. Before leaving the studio, I'll check the program one last time, just in case. The next day, the killing is ready. And um, we can open. Everything looks beautiful and I'm so happy. Now I'll have to unload the killing, pack and start all over again. I hope you enjoy. If you have questions, please let me know and thanks for watching.